Today we talk about what is a drug. Well, most often we do not have a correct sense what a drug is. In pharmacology, drugs are defined as substances intended for diagnosis, mitigation, treatment or prevention of a disease and are capable of changing the structure or a function in the body. Drugs are pharmaceutical products which can produce biological changes in the cells, organs and systems. An established drug must have a known chemical structure. As has been said, drugs can be used in diagnosis, mitigation, prevention and treatment of a disease. Tuberculin or purified protein derivative PPD is used in the diagnosis of tuberculosis. The term mitigation here means to reduce the severity of a disease. For example, oral polio vaccine is used in many countries in an attempt to lessen the number of cases resulting from polio virus. Drugs can be used in the prevention of diseases. For example, vaccines which produce immunity to prevent life-threatening infections. A wide array of drugs are used as a treatment modality. For example, antibiotics can treat microbial infections. It is worthwhile to mention that a drug may produce a therapeutic effect or a toxic effect depending upon the dose. Thus, a life-saving drug can become a potential poison if employed in larger doses. For example, warfarin is an oral anticoagulant. It is a life-saving drug. However, it can become a potential poison if overdosed. Interestingly, warfarin was found to be an excellent rat poison in late 1940s because it caused internal hemorrhage in the rats, resulting in their death. Warfarin soon became the best selling rat poison in America. Importantly, some chemically similar substances are still used in most mouse and rat poisons around the world. Few years later, in 1951, a young naval officer attempted suicide with multiple doses of warfarin. He later on made an uneventful recovery after treatment with vitamin K. It is fascinating to know that how warfarin started from rat poison and then went on to become the most used oral anticoagulants in the world. In an era of modern medicine, the clinical use of warfarin may be reduced in future, but its discovery remains one of the greatest medical breakthroughs of the last century. Now there are many overlapping terms used in pharmacology. For example, the usage of terms side effects and adverse effects. Now two other such terminologies are drugs and medicines whose meanings overlap. So what is then the difference between a drug and a medicine? Now although the purpose of a medicine is same as a drug which is to prevent, alleviate or cure a symptom, ailment or a disease state. But the very slight difference is that the purpose of a medicine is benign. And by benign here I mean it is a product produced and regulated. So regulation of that substance is very important by some regulatory bodies such as US FDA, Food and Drug Administration or EMA which is European Medicines Agency to impart a positive medical effect on a patient. So medicine is a regulated drug basically. Or we may say medicine is a pharmaceutically refined product which tends to have many different components in addition to the active ingredient. Medicines also contain 
other substances called excipients that assist in the formulation and efficacy of that medicine for the patient. For example, heroin could be regarded as a drug and not a medicine. Although it is an excellent pain reliever and has been used as analgesic in the past but its addictive potential makes it an illicit substance, illicit or controlled or illegal substance to be called as a medicine. So herein, although has a pharmacological effect, is an excellent pain reducing drug but it's not a medicine because it's not regulated although it's regulated in some of the European countries and is used in hospital setup for the management of uh, intense severe painful states but still it's a controlled substance and it's not called a medicine technically